What's up, everybody? What's up, friends and foes? Welcome to the Average Sniper video blog. Is that what should we just start calling this a blog now? I don't know, man. I play games and I play games and I talk to you guys while I play the games about random stuff. Maybe we should just start calling this blogs or podcast. I don't know. Actually, a funny thing, that's kind of what I wanted to talk to you guys about this morning. First off, let me say, I am really enjoying doing these live comms. Um, when I moved in, uh, or when I moved out of my last place and moved into this new place to help take care of my grandma, I thought it might be really bad for my YouTube channel, but this playing a game for 30 minutes to an hour and just talking to you guys about the game or about life and things like that has really been helpful to me. And it's also been helpful to the YouTube channel. I can't believe it. Even though I can, I, even though I can't stream for three and four hours at a time anymore, and I can only stream for like an hour and a half or two hours, I've been getting these live comes out as much as possible and really enjoying it. It's, it's nice talking to you guys. I hope it's nice listening to me and engaging with me in the comments section in the live chat. So let me know in the comments if you're enjoying these live comms. And hit the like button. Don't forget to hit the like button. Um, well, today I wanted to talk to you guys about something a little personal. As most of you know, as most of you know, I used to be, I used to be pretty overweight. Um, I'm a short guy. I'm only about 5'6", and uh, I was weighing uh, between 190 and 200 pounds, and it was not muscle. Let me tell you that. It was not muscle, and uh, that was about a year ago, a little over a year ago now, and it took me about six months to lose a lot of that weight and get down to under 15% body fat, which is where I'm at now. And um, sometimes I struggle. Sometimes I struggle not going back to my old eating habits. You know, sometimes I look in the mirror and I think, ah, I don't look as good as I did yesterday. Or, I, you know, I'm. It's it's like, uh oh, BE service is not running properly. What the heck? What the heck is that? I've never in my life had problems with like body image, you know? I guess when I was a teenager, I kind of did. I was like, when I was going through puberty, I wanted to, to, to look really good, you know? And I was like, oh man, I, I need to look good to attract the women and all that stuff. And you know, I guess a lot of guys are, and girls, I guess everybody's kind of like that to a certain degree, but it wasn't until I lost a lot of weight that I really started focusing on body image. Maybe to a point where it's gotten, like, unhealthy, you know? Um, because so many times I will just look at myself in the mirror and be like, I look like shit. I just want to go eat a pizza. Why not? I look like shit anyway. <laughs> I, gotta, I, gotta, I really got to stop looking in the mirror so much. It's, it's not good for you. But that's what I wanted to talk to you guys about. I, 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 I was feeling like that last night, you know, and uh, I ate a little more than I should, and I was feeling guilty. And I was, uh, I had the attitude like, fuck it, well, tomorrow I'll just make it a huge cheat day. I'll eat whatever I want. And then I woke up and I was like, no, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. I feel so much better when I control myself and I don't give in to these crazy junk food cravings like I used to, you know? Um, because... If you, when I think about it, it's like it tastes really good eating the junk food and the cheat meals. It tastes so good. But the feeling you get after that is awful. Like, you're like, why did I do that? You know, just for, just for 10, 15, 20 minutes of pleasure. And now I feel like total shit. You know, it's like, it's not good, you know. I mean, cheat meals, like, I, I love having the occasional cheat meal. But sometimes you kind of go overboard. And... That's, I wanted to do that today, but then I woke up, I was like, no, mm -mm. not going to do it, not going to do it, because I feel so much better when I control myself, and so, and that's not even really what I wanted to talk about, that's just kind of leading into what I actually want to talk about here. I went on my morning, I always walk, when I wake up, I always go on a two mile walk with the dog, um, the dog's really getting in shape after all these, well, we've been walking like five miles a day, <laughs> um, but I always go on a walk with the dog for two miles and I come back and make myself breakfast. And when I go out on my walk, I usually put my uh, earbuds in and listen to 
music or like um, one of my favorite YouTubers, uh, Greg Doucette, check him out, he's awesome, I feed the pro. <laughs> um, I always listen to that and, and today I was like, you know what, I feel good about myself because yes, I did give in to temptation a little bit last night, I did eat too much and I did feel like I should just say fuck it and just have a whole cheat weekend. It's Labor Day weekend. That was my excuse. I was like, I'll just have a whole weekend of cheating on, you know, and eating things I shouldn't eat. And then I woke up, I was like, I don't want to do that. So I was actually feeling pretty proud of myself for deciding not to do all that crazy stuff or eat all that crazy food. Because when I have a cheat day, I really have a fucking cheat day. I mean, like 10,000 calorie cheat day. I know you don't want to do that. I'm going to gain a couple pounds easy doing that. Um... So I decided to turn on a podcast, a motivational podcast. I never listen to motivational podcasts, you know. So I, I, I pop, I pop. I was on the walk. I popped the earbuds in. I pulled the phone out. I went on Spotify. I searched for, or actually, it was right on the homepage. Daily motivation. So I clicked it, or I tapped it. It's like daily motivation. Let me check this out. Let me check this daily motivation out. I feel good about myself. Let me get some more motivation to continue making the right decisions throughout my day. You know, don't want to give in to temptation. Um, and it was basically this dude screaming in my ear about how you're supposed to work harder than everybody else. And even if you hate your job, you keep at it and you work hard. I was like, the fuck is this? I don't want to hear this shit. It doesn't, it doesn't apply to me. So I switched to the next, the next one. I actually went to a totally different channel. And it was the same shit. It was just people, it was people over and over again, yelling in my ear, telling me that even if I don't like my job, I should keep doing it. I was like, when did motivational podcasts become this you know what i mean i was like what is this crap last time the last time i listened to motivational podcast it was like very positive and very uplifting and made you feel good about yourself but at the same time it was like you know feel good about yourself but quit fucking up you know what i mean um but this other one was just just ridiculous it's like i didn't want to i didn't i didn't want to listen to it it was basically telling me that I need to do what I don't want to do to be successful. And I thought, you know what, that's, that's really not true. So I turned it off and I made the right choice and I turned on some Taylor Swift. Because you can't go, you really can't go wrong with Taylor Swift. Sorry guys, it's true. You can't go wrong with Taylor Swift. Um, but it really surprised me the way that, like, uh, parent the apparent way that uh, motivational podcasts have changed, you know, it almost feels it almost feels kind of like communism. Like, don't question why you're doing what you're doing. Just work harder. Felt like I was trapped in Animal Farm, a George Orwell novel or something. Man, I was like, I was like, I need to talk about this because this is crazy. What if people are actually buying into this stuff? I mean. Just to be successful, you shouldn't have to force yourself and beat yourself up and do things that you hate doing. That's crazy to me. That seems crazy to me. Like, I don't, I don't want to live a life like that, you know? Yeah, I heard there's a guy out here. I don't want to live a life where I'm constantly doing things I don't want to do. You know, that's, I don't think that's any good way to live life. You should obviously, you, sh you obviously need to push yourself if you want to be successful, but you don't need some dude screaming in your, screaming in your ear about it 24-7, telling you that even if you don't like it, you need to keep doing it. And that's like your boss screaming at you. I mean, jeez. I was surprised. I was surprised by that. Have you guys had similar experiences if you listen or watch motivational uh, videos or podcasts? I'd like to know because I didn't find that motivational at all. I thought it was a load of crap, you know? And I think that being successful is way more to do with being happy with who you are 
but at the same time, knowing that there's always room for improvement, you know, like, uh, constant, constant improvement. Be happy with who you are, be happy with where you are in life, be happy with your progress, but always realize there's room, there's always room for improvement. You know, there's always room for improvement, ways to make yourself better. Whether it's physical things like fat loss or building muscle or fitness like, like what I'm into. Or whether it's spiritual things to help you get more in touch with your inner self and be more happy with yourself. Or, or whether it's something totally different. You know, it's... Killing the butts today. As long as it's something that's improving yourself. Maybe it's your business. You know what I mean? I... I don't think anybody wants somebody screaming in their ear and telling them, I know you hate your job, but you need to do it anyway and do it harder than everybody else if you want to be successful. Man, fuck that. You know, I quit. I, I remember quitting a bunch of jobs that I didn't like. You know, it's I'm not a quitter. I just realized that it wasn't for me. You know, just because you quit something that's not for you doesn't mean you're a failure. It's... I was just... I was like... I was out there walking the dog, listening to this crap, and I was like, well, are people actually falling for this? Do people actually, like, believe, believe this crap? I hope they don't, because what a load of crap it is, man. I really am a firm believer that, you know, people should be happy. People should be happy. Now, let's give, a, let's give another example, you know, because there's certain situations, like... I don't care if somebody's overweight, or I don't care if I'm overweight. It's all, like I said, it's all about being happy with yourself. But, if you're doing something incredibly dangerous to yourself, like, if you're, if you're morbidly obese, and morbidly obese means that you're so fat, you're going to die. Like, it's, the fatness is actually going to cause a heart attack, or heart disease, or, it's gonna kill you, basically. <laughs> So if if you are that overweight to where you might actually die, or if you have some other health issue, that you need to address that. That's not okay, you know. I mean, it's it's a touchy subject because a lot of people want to tell you it is okay. Um, and you know what? If you're an adult and you understand the decisions that you make, and you're okay with dying, that's your choice, you know. But what I'm more concerned about is the message that like younger people get. They they might look at somebody like that and and be like, "Oh, it's okay to be morbidly obese because this guy's doing it and he's fine with it and he's happy, you know." But it's like that's a that's a pretty bad message to send, I think. Will I get banned for saying this? But am I fat shaming? Is average sniper fat shaming? No. I believe people have the right. I think... I honestly think this, guys. If it makes you happy... If it makes you happy to eat a large pizza every night... Fucking do it. Fucking do it. If it makes you happy, but... Be honest with yourself about whether the choices you're making are good choices or bad choices, you know? Be honest with yourself and be honest with other people. But if it makes you happy, if it makes you happy, I'm all for it, man. If it makes you happy, it can't be that bad. <laughs> I think that's an old 90s song. I must have heard it on my 90s playlist the other day. Man, I kind of I kind of went off on a tangent there. Kind of went off on a tangent. Sorry about that, guys. So, yeah, I'm all for people being happy, you know. I think I think happiness is success. I really believe that happiness is success. If you're happy with yourself, you're a successful person. Too many people base success on how much money they make or the status that they have, you know, the power that they have. There, there's a lot of things in this society that are just, 
There's a lot of things society would have you believe. Listen to me, I sound like a damn conspiracy theorist talking about society and shit. Society wants you to believe that, like, the American dream, like, you have to have a house and a two-car garage and married with, like, three kids to, to be successful. That's simply, simply not true. Simply not true. I think success is measured by happiness. Do you feel happy most of the time? Nobody feels happy all the time. But do you feel happy most of the time? If you do, I would consider you a pretty, pretty damn successful person. A pretty damn successful person. Uh. Got me a groza. So what is success? I guess success is just whatever you define it as, you know, maybe, maybe some people do need to feel, um, maybe some people do need that money and power to feel successful. It doesn't work for most people. Like, I think no matter how much money you get, no matter how much power you get, there's always a part of you that's going to feel empty because for me, for me, success is feeling happy with myself. And being able to bring joy and happiness to other people around me. Which is, I think, why I enjoy streaming and uh, gaming. And basically just sharing my experiences online with everybody else. Talking about gaming. Talking about personal things. Talking about what makes me feel successful as a person. And what makes me feel happy. You know, and sometimes the things that make you, going back to like, like cheating on your diet. One of the most common reasons people listen to motivational things for working out and cheating on your damn diet. How many cheat meals can I have? You know, there's temporary happiness and there's like long lasting happiness. And the temporary happiness you get from doing something makes you feel kind of guilty, but feels really good at the time you're doing it. That doesn't last, you know, that doesn't last. And that's not the kind of happiness I want. I want lasting happiness. I want to wake up in the morning feeling like I made all the right choices yesterday. And that gives me a reason to make to make even more right choices today. You know, that's that's what I want. That's what I want. And I also want to be happy even when I make the wrong choices and know that I can recover from them. And treat it as a learning experience, you know? Treat it as a learning experience. Alright, two enemies left. We've been talking about success and happiness this whole time. Killing bots, killing... I think there's some real players in there, too. Kill the guy to care package. I don't think bots loot care packages, so... No, oh, you're over there, buddy. I think he's a good player. Ah, just shot him right in the head. He got a nice headshot on me, too. Damn, he's cheating. Another cheater today. Did you see that? Oh, no wonder he hit me in the... I thought that was... He, I was just thinking he was good. Oh, watch this, guys. Watch the death cam. You're going to see it. You're going to see an aimbot here for sure. We'll hit the report button, too. As soon as we verify it. Sometimes it's just luck, but... I, I had a suspicion... Oh, he's only a level 64. I had a suspicion it was cheats when he popped me as soon as I popped out. Now here, you can see him, look, he's watching me through the wall. 
He just watched me move through the wall. Watch what happens when I peek. Oh my god, that three times scope, full auto, all headshots. Sorry, buddy, we're reporting you. Hey, that's two live comms in a row where I've had to deal with cheaters. Jeez, that sucks. What's that guy's name? I forget. I don't know. We're gonna keep playing, though. We're gonna keep playing another one this morning. This is Average Sniper's Motivation Hour. Not yelling at you to do things you want to do. Just telling you to be happy with who you are. With improvement. Like, <laughs> like if you're... <laughs> If you're homeless and because you don't want to work a job and you're mad and you're sad because you don't have a house to live in or a car to drive, then maybe you should work a job and work hard at that. I'm not saying not to work hard. I'm just saying you don't need somebody screaming at you, telling you to do a whole bunch of crap you don't want to do every single day just to feel successful. That's all. Man, I can't believe that's two live comes in a row where we got to the end and there was a cheater. There was one yesterday, one this morning. Three times scope, full auto spray to the head. And then as soon as his aimbot clicks off, his aim goes flying. Flying somewhere else. That's so such an obvious cheater, man. I don't get mad about it anymore. I just I still get I'm still kind of surprised when it happens. It's just kind of shocking. It's like because there's a guy that does something stupid, like he ran out into the open before he had to. It was gonna be an easy kill, and then all of a sudden they, they lock onto your head and kill you, and you're just like, whoa. What <laughs> what happened there? It sucks. That's just that's just how it be sometimes though. That's just how it be sometimes, guys. Sometimes you just gotta deal with the cheaters. Sometimes you gotta deal with those damn cheaters. I hope he's not in this game, too. If he's playing solos in my region, there's a very high chance he is in this match. But if he is, we'll see his name again. I forget what his name is, but I think I'll wreck it. It was like IUD, like Jade IUD or something like that. I don't know. So I guess for me, success and happiness means waking up every morning and feeling motivated to make the right decisions and also feeling good about the decisions I made the the day before you know regardless of whether those have to do with weight loss or fitness or my job or YouTube or my personal life whatever you know just feeling like I did the right thing that's all just feeling like I did the right thing and continuing to try to do the right thing you know so back back to that one thing that might be a little controversial Talking about how uh, sometimes, you know, it, it can be unhealthy being like super fat, super obese, morbidly obese. I'll give it as, you as an example of using myself. So I'm only 5'6". I'm real, I'm short guy. Okay. I'm okay with that. <laughs> I hate that I'm so short. I just want to be tall. Uh, no, I'm, so I'm a short guy. And um, if I was to get real fat like if i was to get up to 300 pounds that would be that would be i couldn't even imagine what i'd look like but let's say i did do that let's say i did do that and i was actually happy with myself even though i'm so fat that i'm endangering my own life i might actually have a heart attack at any point in time like i'm just a ticking time bomb for a damn heart attack uh, but, but I'm happy with myself, okay? I don't know how I could be happy with myself like that, but let's just say that I, let's just say that I am. Okay. Let's just say that I am happy with myself. I would not want people looking at me and thinking it's okay 
to do what I was doing. I would want them to know that the lifestyle I chose is a very dangerous one. And although it might make me feel happy because I get to eat whatever I want and just not care about my own body, doesn't mean that somebody else should do the same thing. I would not want people... I would not want people thinking they should do what I do, basically. That, that, that could be dangerous. That could be very dangerous for people. Oh, this guy's happy at 5'6 and 300 pounds. So it must be okay. It must be okay to overindulge every time, you know? It's like, nope, it's not. Just because somebody else is doing it doesn't mean it's good. Doesn't mean it's healthy, you know? Now, let's, let's flip. I think I've explained myself pretty well on that. Let's flip the switch a little bit. I stick with the micro Z, why not? Let's flip the switch a little bit and talk about uh if you're say you're not morbidly obese, okay? You're not in danger of death, but you're not in great shape either. Let's say you don't really work out, you kind of eat what you want, but you don't go crazy overboard. Kind of like I used to be. Like I wasn't happy with myself and my my body image, but I wasn't super depressed either, you know. I was okay with myself, even though I know I didn't look as good as I could or I didn't work out, you know. I was okay with myself. Um, I was obese, but I was certainly not morbidly obese, you know. And that's the point where I wouldn't really care if somebody looked at me and thought, hey, I want to live the same lifestyle that that guy lives you know like he's he's a little overweight but he's okay with it he's not depressed about it he does definitely eat too much junk food but if it makes him happy then go for it you know it's just a slippery slope because anything anything can become an addiction drugs food gaming Pretty much any hobby that you enjoy doing that makes you lose track of time can become addictive, so you just gotta be careful. But, I don't know. I don't know. I wasn't happy. Sometimes I do think to myself, I'm like, I wish I could be the type of person like those people on that one show. Have you guys ever seen uh, My 600 Pound Life on TLC? Um, I think they have some YouTube episodes you can watch too. But it's these people that have let themselves get so fat, they're over 600 pounds. And some of them are like 800 pounds. Man. Like the fattest people you've ever seen. None of them are happy. Not one. Never seen one that was like, I get to eat whatever I want all day long and I'm super happy. These people are so fat they can't even get out of freaking bed. You can't even get out of bed, you know? So how how can you be happy like that? I can understand being fat and happy. Like, I'm fat and I'm happy. Yeah, you're, you're fat, but you're not 600 fucking pounds. You don't, need, you don't need a bulldozer or an entire medical team to get you out of your house. You know what I mean? I don't think it's possible to be happy when you are killing yourself slowly. That's why I think it's dangerous to to make people think it's okay to be morbidly obese. Because a lot of people, I think, uh, some people that are morbidly obese, they want to pretend like they're happy with it to make themselves feel better. Because if they get the approval from other people, like, I'm fat, I know it's dangerous, but I'm happy. Uh, there's going to be people out there that are, that are going to be like, good for you. Good for you. As long as you're happy. As long as you're happy, that's all that matters. You know? You're running me over. Break 1976 underscore TTV. Let's see if he's streaming. Break 1976 underscore
mid, and Liquid haven't been able to convert with it. He is streaming. Creativity he is, he is streaming. I don't want to watch that commercial. It might copyright strike me. I had so many kits. Level 3 best, but I, I demolished this 3 best. SKS. I don't really need any of the stuff this guy had. Break 1976. Support him on Twitch. Damn commercial. Let me see if I'm signed into Twitch on my phone. Maybe I can go say hi. Creativity starts with what ifs. Like, what about my look? I just had to watch the commercial. Maybe you guys heard it. I say, GG, man. I saw your name, so I dropped by to say hi. Seems like a nice guy. He said he told me to go get that chick. I love it when a streamer is not toxic. There's too many toxic streamers out there, so it's nice to have streamers that aren't not toxic. I think this is where I landed. I like landing at these three little warehouses. They always have good loot. Well, I'm really curious to see what you guys have to say in the comments section because I think we live uh, in a politically correct time where talking about body image uh, can sometimes sometimes be an issue because I don't know, it's just the world we live in. But a lot, there's lots of bullies out there that certainly body shame people. I think body shaming is really bad to do. I don't think you should think of yourself as better than anybody based on the body type that you have or the body type somebody else has, you know? I think, I think that's wrong. That's that, that's just bullying, you know. That's just bullying. I swear the bots hide and wait for you now. I just got grenaded by a bot. <laughs> I just got grenaded by a bot. Apparently he was holding a grenade. Let's look at the death cam. Oh my lord. I bet it's just going to show my perspective on the death cam. Oh no, it's going to show his perspective. Wow, 
Why was he? Oh, that hurts to watch. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, that hurts to watch. Now we gotta play another one. That's two. That's to play another one. I can't believe I just got grenaded by a bot. Sad. Really sad. <laughs> I didn't look to, it didn't look to me like he pulled a grenade out. I couldn't tell on my screen. I mean, it was literally on the death cam, the split second he pulled the grenade, like his hand wasn't even up to, to the throwing position yet, and I killed him. Come on, PUBG. First I get killed by a cheater, then I get afterlife killed by a, by a grenade bot? Come on now. That's not cool, bro. That's not cool. Yeah, so back to what I was talking about. Body shaming, not good. Definitely not good. And we're not body shaming anybody. Just you, just because you have a discussion about being overweight or being skinny or being muscular or small or big or round or whatever, doesn't mean you're body shaming anyone, you know? I really think everybody should be happy in their own skin. I think that's the number one reason a lot of people aren't happy with themselves is because they're not happy with their body, you know? So do what you got to do to make yourself happy about your body. If that's going to make you happy, then shit, do what I did. Lo lose some weight. Or if you're too skinny, gain some weight. You know, it's, I know it's not, I know it's not that easy. It's, it's really hard to change your body because it's a process that happens slowly over time and you have to dedicate yourself to it even when you don't think you're seeing any progress. And, that can be hard sometimes, so I totally understand, but I'm not the type of guy that's ever going to look at somebody and judge them and be like, you have to change your lifestyle because you're overweight or too skinny or morbidly obese. Like, yeah, just be honest about it, you know? Are you happy? Yes? No. If not, you know, maybe listen to some motivational, uh, motivational podcast to some dude screaming in your ear about how you're a piece of trash and you should uh, work harder. <laughs> I couldn't believe that. Man. Really didn't motivate me. Really just made me feel bad. It's like, dude, I want to listen to that crap. You gotta wake up every morning and drink raw eggs and if you don't go for the six mile jog, you're a piece of shit and if you don't work 12 hours a day at your current job to get that promotion or to get your business off the ground you're a piece of shit you know if you don't have power and money you're a piece of shit that's that's what the podcasts were sounding like nowadays to me the motivational ones bro like i would much rather listen i'm not even like a spiritual or religious person but i'd much rather listen to like a spiritual podcast that involves more about being happy with yourself than being something that society wants you to be, you know? Now we're getting deep. Now we're getting deep. I don't think you're, I don't think you're ever going to be able to be happy being something that other people or society as a whole tells you to be or wants you to be. You got to be what you want to be. That's the, I think that's the only way to feel happy with yourself is being what you want to be, doing what you want to do. And if you're not doing that, maybe you should. I don't know, maybe you should. Maybe you damn should do that. Finally got Kraken. Oh wait, we already played one on Kraken. That's where the cheater, um, that's the one where the cheater killed us in the very beginning, or the very end. Third place, I think. So, deaths so far, one by cheater, and two by bot, afterlife bot grenade. How much does that suck? How much does that fucking suck? Let's go! Kraken! Run around and shoot people, yeah! The hell was I thinking?
not paying attention to my altimeter. Yep, nobody's around me because I got a horrible parachute pool. Just awful. I'm a piece of shit because I got a horrible parachute pool. I didn't drink six raw eggs this morning. slow today. Just mentally though. Damn, how am I fitting all this stuff without a backpack or a vest? Guy has a vest. Why am I so slow today? I just feel sluggish. I feel sluggish today. It's all this motivational talk. It's all this damn motivational talk. You don't have six packs abs, you're a piece of shit. Do your twenty thousand sit ups. Kinda of feel like I kinda of feel like I need a helmet. Did I pass one up already? Uh kinda of feel like That being so unpredictable, bot. I kind of feel like the motivational um, podcasts are kind of designed like that. Like, to make you feel bad. They, like, buy their product or something. I don't know. Oh, how did I miss that? When I was here originally. I don't know. I'm a piece of shit. <laughs> oh, man. I need more... Five, five, six. They're shooting at me out here. Love headshots in the morning. I love me some headshots in them. Who doesn't? Who doesn't love them some good headshots in them? I want to get some good gear. I have to sticky bomb in here. I want some good gear. How many times have you guys mm, fucked up the throw on those sticky bombs and not got them in the right place? I've done it many times. Especially when I only have one to use. Good loot. Good shit.
Eh, way too many painkillers. There's a level 3 vest over there. Well, I certainly have some sticky bombs now. I really need meds. I don't have any first aid kit. Bandages. Just bandages, man. Need to get a care package. That's what I need to do. I need to go get a care package. The compensator that I picked up by accident right there. I have a, have a half health level one helmet. There's a first. At least I got one now. <laughs> Who's the one that calls the damn phone on the things that blow them up? Oh. Just give me a care package, please. I got a level 2 helmet, I just shot him in the head. He has a full health 2 helmet. And a quick draw mag, I need that. He's a real player. I don't think he expected me to be a real player, too. Too many sticky bombs, too many boosts is a problem. Need uh, to get rid of some of that crap so I can pick up some more. Nine mil. See what this guy had. Nothing I really need, huh? Had some good standard stuff, but nothing nothing I'm in desperate need for. New zone Let's go. How did none of those shots land? I don't get it. I think I was leading him a little far. It is a live guy. I thought it was a body, but... Okay, no. There's lag going on. How are those shots? How are all those shots missing? How are those shots missing? That was insane! I think there's lag going on. What? That. Somebody tell me what that was. I like to blame it on the lag, but I know I'm just a potato. Just a damn potato. Not even a fully 
bloated potato. Just a damn potato. That, I think, was a real player. Molly. I'd rather have Molly's sticky bombs. I'd rather have a care package, too. We make it through this match without a cheater or getting blown up by a bot grenade. Had to have just seen me. Oh no. But him just fine. Oh my god, care packages. Two of them. One at fifteen, one at thirty-five. Smoke ready. Smoke has saved my life so many times getting care packages. D3, that's what I'm talking about. DMR suppressor. We do have quite a lot of 762 already, surprisingly. Still use more of those, that's for sure. Ah! Very bad, I gotta get cover. That was close. Air packages are always risky business. No way that guy comes through the open to me. Kinda hope he does, but I don't think he will. That's probably him fighting up there.
two enemies left. Enemy left. Oh my god, that was such a an epic kill. Okay, so that might have been just a little toxic to shoot him that many times, but now we'll finish it off with a dance because why not? Oh man. <laughs> uh I love it when I outplay the enemies like that. Oh man, how many kills did we get? 13 kills, lots of bots, but that's okay. One cheater killed us, one bot killed us with an afterlife grenade, then we got a chicken dinner, all within one hour. What a live come, what a live come. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching, and hopefully I'll see you later today or sometime soon for the next stream, video, or live come. Alright, later guys, leave a like button if you're still here, bye!